This was going to be my first film. These were ideas I had that I wanted to make into a film about 10 years ago. Uh, and it was actually, I had all these characters and all these stories, uh, uh, but I didn't have a screenplay. So it took a while to put them all into one screenplay, uh, and then it took a long time to get the financing to make the film because it is uh, um, uh, difficult to stories. Well, I think it's about how we all survive our families, you know. Uh, uh, we all have families, whether they're good families or bad families or screwed up families. Uh, and we all have to survive our families. And, 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 and the film is about uh, four different uh, uh, families and um, how they uh, interact. Yeah, it's kind of a companion piece to kids. Kids was about uh, the secret world of kids with no adults around and, this, and, and no parents around. And in this film, uh, uh, we meet the parents. I think it's about how the, how the parents are you know, using the children in a very inappropriate way to satisfy their own emotional needs. I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, they're very dysfunctional families, um, uh, and and the kids have each other. I, I, I think without the kids having each other, they wouldn't survive. But it's about how how uh, the kids go to each other uh, to survive the emotional uh, damage that's being inflicted on them by their parents. I mean, it's about just growing up in America in the suburbs, it's about stories that uh, 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 that you read about in the paper or people that you know, and these stories are just you know you know not really uh, told uh, 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 in film, especially American film. Um, um, and I felt that it was necessary to uh, to make this film. I, I've wanted to make this film for a long time. It's really why I started making film. Uh, the kids in the film are non-professionals, they've never acted before and they're just amazing and then all the adults are you know seasoned professional actors. Um, um, the kids are uh, Tiffany Lemos uh, who plays Peaches who is who is the one girl in, in, in the film. Uh, I met at a bookstore, she'd never acted before. Uh, and Stephen Jasso who plays Claude was a skateboarder, he was skating in a skate park and I saw him and I said that looks like the way I would like Claude to look and I went up to him and put him in the movie, and he's an amazing young young actor. Um, uh, uh, and I think that he has a career ahead of him uh, if he wants it. And I think Tiffany Lemos has a has a career that uh, both of them could, uh, you know, you know, do well. They're amazing, and all the kids are amazing. James Bullard, who plays Sean, uh, is a guitar player. He has a band called James, uh, uh, and I saw him play and cast him in the film. And uh, James Van Sone, who plays Tate. Uh, had a little acting experience, not much. I met him in New York and, uh, and I actually cast him in the film uh, a year before he made the film, so he had a year to prepare for, for Tate, who is quite a, <laughs> quite a character. I'm working with Ed Lockman in this film, who is a great cinematographer. He did Aaron Brockovich. He did this new film, uh, Far From Heaven. Um, um, he's worked with all, with so many directors. Um, we decided that we wanted um, a more classical uh, look for this film. We wanted it to look like a, like a, a classical Hollywood film, film or, or like a European film uh, um, uh, so we could, we, we could let the actors tell the story so the camera does not get in the way. It's a beautifully photographed film. Um, uh, it looks like a $15 million film and we made it for almost no money. I mean, really is, um, I'm really, really pleased with this film and the way it looks. And, uh, you, know, you look at the world, I mean, I have children, I have teenage children, um, um, and I look at the world and, I, and I'm, you know, and I'm very, you know, I get afraid for my kids and uh, uh, because it is certainly a different world and it's a changing world and the, um, um, but it's their world and I think they're going to be okay and I, and I think, well, wait a minute, this is their world, this is, this is all they know and they'll deal with it. Uh, um, but, but it seems a very dangerous place, a much more dangerous place than it was when I was growing up. And, um, and with the information age, kids find out about everything at such a young age. I mean, innocence as I knew it is lost very early. Uh, the kids have so much information, they know everything. I mean, it's, um, uh, it certainly is uh, um, uh, different. Uh, I think I have a need to be relevant. and. Uh, um, and I've been working as a visual artist for a long time, for 40 years, and uh, um, 
so I think I know what I'm doing. I think I know how to tell a story, and I think I know how to make an image. And um, um, and I work very hard, and uh, uh, and I hope to you know to keep working. And I'm and I just want to say how grateful I am to be able to have made this film, to finally get this film uh, made. Um, and it's a very contemporary film, and uh, and um, and I think it addresses a lot of issues that uh, um, that I wanted uh, you know people to uh, see. I think I'm the only filmmaker uh, um, working right now that you know that you know kids can really uh, uh, maybe trust.